All right, to watch this video for Friday, April 28th. I've been pretty much AWOL out of the room um, the latter portion of this week. A lot of stuff going on here. Um, you know what? And I can't. Ju I just can't say enough about day trading because um, you know it affords me the opportunity to take afternoons off or take whole days off, and I'm still you know to get things done when life happens, right? Um, and I, I just tweeted, and that's what made me think of it. Uh, I just tweeted that my motivation to continue my day trading success is because I'm unemployable. I've been my own boss for so long. I, I just could never work for anybody else again. I'd be useless because it is such a good feeling to be your own boss. You need a day off. You just take the day off. Um, in trading, if you're trading well, the best money is made in the first hour anyway, right? So on, on, on the East Coast by 1030 or 11, uh, in theory, you should be done anyway. And it gives you so much more time to actually live life. That's my favorite thing about it is the freedom. Um, my partner, uh, Wayne, wrote something about um, Sundays is the best part of it. That just turned out to be like one of the truest statements I hadn't really thought about um, is about Sundays because it, it, that same holds true for me. It was in, it, Wayne put it in his blog and the same holds true for me. Sundays, I couldn't even have fun no matter what I was doing. It's like I knew I was getting ready to start another work week. So Saturdays were it, right? Um, and now... And most traders will tell you this. Most traders uh, will tell you that they actually look forward to Monday morning. So um, it is a, a really, really good life. So anyway, um, enough about that. I just wanted to share that real quick. And let's go into, uh, let's see, the SPY. Uh, you know, this is what candlesticks look like right here, right here. Um, and then you, every once in a while you get like a series of weird days. And look, at it's like a splotch. Um, you know, where it's here, it opened where it closed, opened where it closed, opened where it closed, and it's gappy. So if you think the action's been a little bit hard to trade, it, it really has. I mean, these days, at least it's up, down, up, down, but you had some kind of range. Don't really have much of that, um, but we're hanging out near all-time highs, so it's certainly worth keeping in mind. The market is pretty darn strong, okay? And there's IWM hanging out near all-time highs. So, um, and again, I'm not positive how many opportunities there have been the last couple days, uh, because I've been pretty much a wall. I was I was able to trade the morning this morning and had actually a decent little morning, but didn't trade at all yesterday. Um, and Monday and Tuesday were decent also. So, uh, but it looks like the action has not been great. All right. So anyway, enough of that. CBLI. Um, I'll take today's candle out of it just to show you. I had this on bounce watch coming into today, and then today it gapped down, but ended up uh, kind of flagging all day. Look at this. Let me. Well, let me go to five minute candles. So you had the gap down, and then it popped. And then it looked like it was rolling over and then it popped in just kind of straight sideways. So I do like this over today's high because that should get it through also through yesterday's high. So maybe over 375, this one might uh, give a nice little pop. Okay, let me pan out a little bit more. You have the huge move here, nice secondary move. And really you can just picture a trend line, right? Right here. And it looks uh, poised to possibly um, have another little mini squeeze day. So let's keep our eyes on CBLI, Under Armour UA. Had this huge gap down and it's just been chopping sideways ever since. Nice volume day today. Um, certainly has issues after the gap down with the $20 area here, here, and then today on nice volume. So maybe we break out up above 20 uh, tomorrow. Uh, only with a proper intraday setup, but it's worth watching. P, I typed that wrong. PXLW, um, you know, had a decent move back here and kind of flagging and then today a little extra volume. Um, so I kind of like it over today's high, which was 477 so 478 might be enough to get us through the most recent high which was 485 um, and it's a fairly low float stock so we'll, we'll keep our eyes on it I'm not in love with that one I'm a big fan of stuff that's getting unusual relative volume and you know you had that volume pop today so that's what puts it on my radar um, man I can't type tonight AAOI um, just decimated here then a gap up right at that $50 area sold off again and then uh, it popped back up Sellers came in and really just kind of flagging right below 50. So if this can get through 50 on volume, might give a nice sizable move. Not in love with that one. Um, it's not really the price range I like to trade, but we'll, we'll watch it. I had PULM on watch for today. I'll zoom in. You know, you see a little bit of extra volume, former high flyer, a nice a little rally back here too. Um, and this, the only reason I'm even watching this is because it had actually decent range yesterday. Go to 15 minute candles here, right? It went from a 265 to over three, which percentage-wise isn't bad. And then today, after the opening 15-minute candle, just did nothing. This is a, what, what you would call a very obscure play, and I'm not in love with it. I, I almost need this to get through 
uh, three bucks to become interesting. So, you know, um, if you're if you're using the tone of my voice to gauge my interest, pretend my tone is very uh, <laughs> disinterested in that um, PULM. But you know what? I'll throw it on a chart. I, I can't find much right now, so I'm kind of putting stuff on charts uh, on the watch list that um, I, I'm not that thrilled about just to have a watch list. And again, I'm kind of hopeful that we'll see a nice uh, gap and go setup or something tomorrow. Uh, VHC has been on watch for a few days, so I'm just going to keep it on watch because it's still kind of um, holding below that 345 area. If it breaks through that, maybe a breakout. MITK, um, you had the pop and really just kind of flagging again. You'll notice a lot of times you'll see the same stock on watch several days because uh, it won't give me any kind of setup, and so it just goes back on watch, right? Um, SMSI, nice volume spike today. Maybe a follow through day, red to green, something like that tomorrow. And I'm also going to throw NADL back on watch. There's, there's nothing that pretty here, uh, but it's made some really nice moves. Um, I kind of need this to really break today's high, which was 260, and it closed all the way at 235, but we'll see. Um, you know, I like this spike, I like this spike, and then, you know, over 260, this, this looks like it might take off again. Um, I don't know. We'll put it on watch. I I have I just I'm not in love with this list at all. So keep that in mind. I'm hoping to find a nice gap play tomorrow. Uh, get my daily goal by 11 and uh, and have a nice long weekend. All right. So anyway, enjoy the rest of your evening, and we will see everybody uh, tomorrow.